The top five builds of season four are all barbarian builds. What's up guys, we're here. Welcome back to the channel. May the fourth be with you. So today we are gonna be going over a brand new tier list. I'm doing my top five builds of season four and you guys are gonna be interested in seeing all that. I do wanna uh, just kind of shout out like there's um, a lot of love on the last video guys. I do wanna give a big shout out to everybody who um, you know, commented, we got like 83 comments, which was amazing. We got like 115 likes, but we also got 30% dislikes on the, uh, on the video, which was about, um, 40 likes or something like that. I think 28 likes. Yeah. It was like 50 likes on the video or 50 dislikes. So I do want to say thank you guys all for commenting and being cool about it and, you know, and, and trying to have some good constructive criticism. Um, however, at the start of this video, I, it was presented to me that I guess necros with the minions can hit for 6 billion 30 billion something like that and then the shadow dot necromancers um look really cool it seems like it's just a normal build though nothing too spectacular like shadow dot doesn't seem like it's you know uh that much higher than like a uh you know top of the line bone spear build so but it is nice to see a shadow dot build be in the category of talks and stuff you know so um however for the golem build to do six billion or 30 billion i would really like to see some gameplay so if somebody can post a link or anything down in the comments of this video please let me know because uh if we can then we might be able to change our ranking here but until then guys i know it's disappointing but necros are still going to be down here for me so let's go ahead and get into my top five builds of uh season four and you guessed it they're all barbarian builds all the top five builds of season four are all barbarian builds. You got the double swing with the, I know this is a druid skill, but this is to showcase the, the, the twisters. So you got double swing, you got upheaval, you got uh, Hoda, and there's not even another one on here, but pretty much all the builds that barbarian can do are the top five builds in season four. I mean, am I wrong guys? Am I wrong? No, seriously, am I wrong? Let me know down in the comments. Um, but you know what? We'll, we'll take these away. We'll take these away. Um, let me go ahead and just showcase my top five builds of season four. This is no order, by the way. This is no order. These are all super S tier. But of course, the first one that we have to talk about is double swing with the Barbarian for Twisters. That build is absolutely nuts. Even though it suffered a small nerf, um, you know, like losing. Uh, let me turn turn my Star Wars down losing a uh two tornadoes the build is still gonna wreck it's just absolutely insane Majin, what's up baby welcome back dude how are you uh so definitely double swing for barbarian nutty okay super super nutty um where is it let me find it my order's all messed up um for necromancers you got bone spear um but i honestly think based on the information we'll see uh you have minions you got minions. That's the next best build for uh, season four is Necro Minions. It's apparently it's been shown that they can hit for six billion or upwards of thirty billion. The Shadow Dot build seems to be super awesome. So uh, right now we have minions here. There wasn't a minion icon, so this is just the undead here. So we have that. That's the next biggest build in here. I'm really curious to see how this really shapes out. Again, if anybody has any kind of gameplay, it would be really nice to see. Uh, how the undead million or minions work it seems like shadow Min the shadow mages were doing some really significant damage at level 200 pit and again you know that's probably the equivalent of like doing a tier 100 not that they're the same level but i mean as far as like hey the build can do this so it's good you know what i mean kind of thing but uh yeah so we got um we got minions for necro we got double swing twister barbarian which is just busted um now again we're gonna go into druid there's a few different builds here um however i am gonna stick it to tornado tornado just seems to be one of the best builds you do have shred like both of these builds are just so close for druid in my opinion even coming off of all the changes that happened uh to druid here um it's just so close i did have pulverized super high but um overpower glyphs got nerfed so 
Uh, this is so tough because like tornado is consistently strong, but then you have the big one shot potential of shred. So, but as far as consistency, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it to to tornado here. Tornado, I think over the course of time for the multiple seasons has just been probably Druid's most consistent and super high damage build. But shred is just oh, it's so close. We're gonna put an honorable mention down here. I'm gonna put shred there. We're gonna put an honorable mention down here because these builds are just oh rogues. Yeah, guys, I know you're surprised that they, they made the list, but we def definitely had to put one in there. There's definitely going to be one from every class in this list. So uh, it is going to be Barrage. Barrage is going to be the best build that the rogues have in addition to Twisting Blades. Twisting Blades has always been here. It didn't suffer any additional nerfs um, as well as the overpower that um, rogues got, which is why Penetrating Shot isn't up there anymore. The Banished Lord's nerf here is is literally 50% of the build or 60% of the build because you lose so much damage from it. You lose 120% to 60%. So penetrating shot, huge nerf. Um, volley, I'm or excuse me, barrage is probably the best. I'm not big on rapid fire, even with the arcing like catapult style changes that you can put onto it. But Twisting Blaze didn't get any buffs per se, but the build has always been super, super strong. But I still think Volley is probably going to be one of the best. You could probably interchange these guys, um, but because Rogue is just so far in the gutter right now, it's. I hope, I hope somebody figures out a Rogue build that is just insanely strong, besides Penetrating Shot getting the nerf. But um, yeah, that's going to be it for Rogue. Let's go on to my class that I'm playing, and that is Sork. We had to add it, so we have Frozen Orb here as one of the best builds with the Conjurations, even though. Even though, let's go here, let's go to Frozen Orb. Even though the devs did us so dirty, so, so dirty, uh, that this build, the build is still going to be super strong, guys, but it just got so, so nerfed, it's kind of crazy. So I do want to show showcase this. Let me go over to the Discord because I had to show this to my buddy. So the big change that came to Frozen Orb is before you would cast Frozen Orb, with the brand new amulet, Frozen Orbs had a chance to spawn our Conjurations. And then the Conjurations had a chance to spawn another orb. However, this orb that was spawned had a chance to spawn another Conjuration, which in turn would keep this cycle going. Now there is no more loop. So you cast an orb, an orb can spawn a Conjuration, then a Conjuration can spawn a Frozen Orb, and that's where it stopped. It's literally one, two, three, done. That has been highlighted here inside the new function uh let me find it so you guys can see it greater frozen orb um the devs really put a stink on it which just sucks right here extra explosions from the aspect of frozen orbit do not trigger this effect as a unique calls for casting this unintended interaction was fixed so you have to actually cast the frozen orb you can't have the additional frozen orbs spawn a conjuration right this also includes any frozen orbs that get spawned from having the frozen orb as the enchantment slot because you're not casting they just get flung out right so that puts a big damper on frozen orb but i still think that this build is going to be insane however there is an extra build uh pause and that is going to be the brand new frozen orb teleportation build i'm going to showcase this real quick big shout out to rob for finding this build from probably i think it's one of his members inside here this build is probably going to be the build that i'm going to play through the season after doing a bunch of other builds but it's a two button build you're basically just teleporting around and the frozen orbs are able to do an insane amount of or frozen orb frozen nova are able to do an insane amount of damage it all stems there's a lot of hits here for 45 million which is just kind of crazy on this build and it all comes from a where is it he pulls it up it's the amulet of frosty strides so it's a it's the uh frosty strides uh ability so while you are below 83 percent life evade freezes close to enemies and does a crap ton of cold damage and applies vulnerable so like every time you evade it's like releasing a frost nova um that's the only reason why we put the the frost nova on there guys so that way you can just kind of have a representation of the build but that is that's just an insane build two button press so you got frozen orb here 
Honorable mention for uh, Frozen Norba, Frozen Nova Teleport. There's also a very, very strong representation for Meteors because of the changes, as well as Bouncy Bouncy Fireball, but I don't think that one's quite there yet. I think Meteors, this build, and Frost or Frozen Orb are probably going to be among the best um, for Sork, which is just insane. Now, other honorable mentions from Necromancer I just want to highlight are... Uh, Bone Spear, of course. Um, of course, you have a Shadow Dot build, which is just insane. Uh, for Barbarian, you pretty much have all the builds, as I've already highlighted. Um, and then for Druid, you have Tornadoes. You also could do, like, Lightning Storm. Like, a lot of these other builds are just good, but I think these are just the best. Okay, these are just the best top five builds in the game at this point. Once we get into the season, guys... The builds will absolutely change. You know, a lot of this is going to be mix and match based on what people kind of find. We we only had a few, like a week and a half, you know, roughly, or not even a week and a half. We had a week to test stuff in the PTR. So we just didn't get enough time. But I'm hoping that once we get into the brand new season, we're going to be able to, to really mix up this list and just find a bunch of in, innovative builds and just find some really cool things. So make sure to like the video guys we got the last tier list video to over 100 likes so let's try to hit that same goal again don't forget to subscribe to the channel guys it really does help me out um i'm so excited to play in diablo 4 and again guys down in the comments you know don't be nasty be cool have some good criticisms let me know about some maybe there's some builds that i don't know about and there's some other cool things that you guys uh know or know about or seen that I haven't yet, please let me know down in the comments, link it, and I'll definitely try to check it out. Or you can join me down in my Discord, send the stuff over there, it'd be great to see. So, yeah, guys, uh, that's going to do it for the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And as always, stay gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one.